OK then, so we're given this quadratic equation in x, kx squared plus 4x plus 5 minus k equals 0. And we're told that it has two different real solutions for x, two different real roots, if you like. Now, in order to do this, just a quick reminder, OK, this hinges on this idea that if you've got a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught, you can solve this, find the roots, if you like, the values of x, by using the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now, the number of roots you get can range from no roots, you could get one root, or you could get two roots. And that's determined by this square root here. If you have to square root a negative number, then you find you'd get an error on your calculator. So if b squared minus 4ac was less than 0, you would have an error on your calculator. That means there are no solutions, no roots. If b squared minus 4ac equals 0, then you end up with just 0 for this part, and you end up then with minus b over 2a as being the value of x, which is one root. But if b squared minus 4ac is more than 0, you get two answers for this square root, plus or minus, and that leads to two values for x, two solutions, two roots. So that's the bit that this problem hinges on, knowing that b squared minus 4ac has got to be greater than 0. So what I would suggest is that we write that in, okay? that we say that for two different real solutions, okay, we know that b squared minus 4ac must be greater than 0. So this is crucial to the problem, so definitely put that in. Now, what have we got for a? Well, a is the coefficient of x squared, which in this example is k. And b is the coefficient of x, so that's 4. And c is the constant on the end, so c is 5 minus k. So if b squared minus 4ac has got to be greater than 0, then we can just fill that in with these values. So b squared we've got as 4 squared minus 4ac, so that's going to be 4 times the a value, which is k, times the c value, don't forget to put that in brackets, 5 minus k, because there's two terms there, has got to be greater than 0. Now, if we expand this, we've got 4 squared, which is 16, and then we've got minus 20k here, and then plus 4k squared, and that's greater than 0. Now I could divide through by 4 because 4 goes into each term here. So if I divide by 4, we're going to have 16 divided by 4 is 4, 20 divided by 4 is 5, so we've got 5k there, and 4k squared divided by 4, that's going to be k squared, and don't forget 0 divided by 4 still is 0. Now if we look at what we've got to show, we are very close to it. So all I've got to do is just rearrange this. Put the k squared term first, then the minus 5k, then the plus 4, and that's greater than 0. So that's what I had to show. Show that k satisfies this inequality. OK, well that brings us now to the end of this part.